Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Zodi C at the Farm, where I create uh, these gorgeous garden glass flowers and more. I know it's been a couple months uh, since I've been back on my channel. I've, um, I'm finishing up the final repairs uh, to my home from Hurricane Ian, uh, but I am back in the saddle and uh, it's so great to uh, be back here with all of you. So today we're going to be creating a four-piece ensemble. It's going to be very colorful piece. So I'm going to pick it up here and show it to you. This is actually going to be probably one of my most colorful pieces that I've made to date. So um, I hope that you will stay with me because we are going to jump right in now to the items that you're going to need to complete this project. Now, one of the things that I always tell everyone, there's no need to take notes. I will list it in the description box below. Uh, but the first thing that you're going to need are all of your, uh, your pieces ready, cleaned, degreased, wiped off. Uh, everything should be very shiny. I actually do use a, um, a clear coat on uh, a lot of my pieces so that the uh, colors remain robust through the uh, life of the garden glass flower. You're also going to need a uh, cordless drill or a drill press. I'm gonna be using my drill press today for two of my pieces. And then for the larger piece, um, I only have a 12 inch drill press, so I will be using uh, my cordless drill with my diamond tip bit um, in order to cut the larger piece. You're also gonna need a tape measure to, make, to measure the center of your, um, your, your uh, glass. You're going to need some rubber washers, you're going to need a toggle bolt. This is a 3 16 of an inch. You're gonna need uh, protective gloves. I'm gonna be wearing my glasses today as protective eyewear. You're gonna need to have a magic marker to uh, measure the uh, center of your plates. You're also gonna need a um, Phillips head screwdriver to tighten everything down. And uh, I'm, I normally use a hanging hook. Today I'm not gonna use a hook. I'm just going to, uh, to leave it uh, without a hanging hook because this is gonna be mounted on a wall. Um, but if you are interested in the hooks that I use, you can go uh, to prior videos that I've done um, on these particular uh, pieces. You're gonna need also to have uh, a, um, cloth to uh, wipe your dishes down once you finish the cutting. And I think that's everything that you're gonna need other than your creativity uh, as far as the items that you're gonna need to complete the project. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do now is we're gonna proceed on to the cutting stage. So stay with me, all right? See you in a bit. Okay, we are back here uh, at the cutting stage of this particular project. One of the things that I failed to mention on the items that you're going to need to um, complete this project is you're going to need a piece of wood, something such as this, uh, to stick underneath the uh, main piece so that when you are actually cutting uh, with your diamond uh, tipped drill bit, that once it pierces the glass, that it will not crack the entire piece with the drill itself. The other thing you're gonna need is some water. Uh, the water helps to break up the glass sediment uh, while you're doing the drilling. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that camera down now so that you can see uh, how uh, I drilled this piece. Here we go. All right, so I've got, again, as I showed you, I've got my piece of wood underneath here. I've marked my center of my plate. I've got my water here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of water right there on top. I've got my gloves on and my uh, safety eyewear. Um, make sure that your battery is charged. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn uh, the drill at a, a 90 degree angle. And then once I pierce that glass, I'm gonna bring that drill straight up just like that, okay? All right, here we go. And you're gonna just take it slow.
Okay, so we are actually through. Go ahead and wipe that down. Let me move this out of the way. And I'm just going to take my towel and wipe that down really clean. Okay, and then let me show you. There is the hole right there. Okay, so now that we have finished cutting this absolutely beautiful, very colorful flower supporting plate, we're gonna move on to my drill press where um, I'm going to cut the other pieces. Okay, see you shortly. Okay, so here I am at my uh, drill press station and I'm going to have to change this bit out because this bit is actually too large what I need and I'm using a, that same drill uh, bit that I used for the, the larger piece excuse me and I'm just going to tighten the chuck sure that that bit is straight on that chuck. You don't want your diamond tipped uh, drill bit uh, bent. Okay, let me put that back up there. Okay, and I am lined up here. And I also have my water, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of water, just like I did with the larger piece. And I'm going to make sure that is lined up correctly just like that and here we go is the hole straight through perfect cut okay now I'm gonna move on to the next piece okay, this is my next piece that I'm cutting I've already marked the center so I'm going to sit that right there and here is I'm setting up make sure it's right where I need it to be I'm gonna put a little bit of water right there at the top since this one has a curvature, I may have to add water as I go. So make sure I line it up one more time, make sure that's exactly where it needs to be, and here we go. Okay, and there is the hole perfectly through. Okay, now that we have finished the cutting portion of this particular video, we're gonna move on to the assembly stage. See you soon. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Windex and just give, now that I have uh, cut all of the pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and just give everything a really good cleaning, and then we will start the assembly. I hope everybody, everybody is having a great day today. 
today is Tuesday. I think it is January the 7th. I could be wrong, but either way, it's Tuesday. Okay, so here, here we are. This is the first piece that we're going to start uh, with the assembly. And I've got all of my uh, pieces cleaned and ready for assembly, in including the orb. And I have my uh, toggle bolt and I have my rubber washers and I have a cordless screwdriver I'm going to be using as well as my Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that camera down so you can see how I assemble all of these pieces. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my main uh, plate. And I'm going to take my uh, rubber washer and my uh, toggle bolt and So I've got my washer, I've got my toggle. I'm gonna to stick that straight through just like that. And then push that straight through just like that. And then turn the piece over, okay? The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take another rubber washer and place that right there, okay? And then I've got my uh, next piece. Beautiful, I love this red flower and I'm gonna stick that right in the center, just like that. And then I'm gonna take another rubber washer and stick that right there, okay? The next piece is uh, gonna sit right there on top of that rubber washer. And then one final uh, washer here on the top. And then I'm going to proceed to take my uh, toggled, toggle top and proceed to tighten that down. Okay, let me take my gloves off. I say this every time and I never do it. So it's much easier for me without the glove. I'm gonna get that toggle started and I'm gonna pull it down about three quarters of the way. And then here's my orb that I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to press that orb straight in and I can feel it click in, okay? And then I'm gonna carefully turn this piece over. On its side, just like that. And I'm going to use my uh, cordless screwdriver and I'm going to hold the bottom orb, okay, in place and then proceed, make sure it's in the forward position and proceed to tighten it down. Okay, that was awfully quick. Now, when it slips, I, I always let it slip out of my hands uh, just because I don't want to crack the glass. And then I follow back up with my Phillips head and I'm just going to tighten it down until I feel that it's tightened enough. I'm going to turn the piece over just like that. Make sure everything is exactly the way I want it to be and it looks perfect. Let me turn it so that over so that you can see it. Isn't that amazing? I absolutely love the colors. I love how everything uh, integrates with each other and I love the um, very colorful supporting plate. Okay, let me show you what this looks like on a stand. Okay, stay with me. Okay, so I am not in my studio. I'm, my studio is almost finished, so probably the next video that I see you guys in, I will be back upstairs in my studio, which I'm very excited about. I've been working on it 
uh, for the last couple of uh, weeks. So we're gonna use this stand. This is not one of my typical stands, but we're gonna use this one today. And I'm just going to uh, take the piece and I'm just going to set it right there on the stand and I'll pick it up so you can see it. And yes, there it is. So it's one, two, three, four pieces. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? All right, let me turn it around to the back. Okay, so you can see, well, you actually you can't see because the uh, stand's in the way, but you've got your washer in the back. And if you wanna add the hook, you can add the hook. I'm gonna do a wall mount with this one. So I will not put the hook on, but you, again, as I indicated earlier, you can go back to some of my other videos with regards to a hanging hook if you want to hook it uh, outside or place it outside. Okay, so uh, we have uh, completed this beautiful garden glass flower today. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Uh, please don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button uh, so that these particular videos can get out to others who are interested in creating this uh, incredible uh, art. Uh, so you can find me um, at my website at www.zodiciatthefarm.com. Uh, please leave some comments in the comment section below. I always love hearing your comments. And I hope you have a, a blessed day and a blessed week. And I hope to see you next time here at Zodici at the Farm. Many blessings sent your way. Take care. Bye-bye.